Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today. I just wanted to do a 2024 election prediction video between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. I haven't done one of these in about a month, so I decided to do another one now. Um, you know, at this point in the middle of April, it is um, definitely one of the low points for election prediction channels. Um, I guess the lowest point would have been mid-April in 2021, but as we head into the summer, hopefully the content and and you know, things start to get more clear about the midterms, and we can focus the content towards that. But I'm still going to be doing some 2024 election predictions today. It'll be a Trump versus Clinton. Clinton, of course, uh, at least seems to be, um, I don't know how you put it, testing in the media a run for president again in 2024, which would certainly be interesting. It would mean she's run every eight years for the last, I don't know, 24, no, 16 years. Uh, so she ran in 2008, 2016, and then 2024. That would definitely be an interesting uh, historical thing. Um, and of course, she did run for the Senate in 2000, so you have all of those elections. And then Bill Clinton in 94, or, or, not, or 92, so anyway, there you go. But <laughs> it's interesting to see how she's been in politics so long, um, and she has. But here we go. Before I begin, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are now approaching 500, 550 subscribers. That'll be awesome. When we hit 555, that'll be really cool because you got all fives in a row. So if you've not subscribed, anyway, go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. Let's get into our safe Clinton states. Uh, I don't believe there will be many safe Clinton states. I don't think that Hillary Clinton is a good candidate for the Democrats in any way whatsoever. Also, I judge all of my election predictions based off of the current state of the country. And um, at the moment, we're heading into a red wave election year. I'm going to give Iowa and Ohio as both safe Trump states against Hillary Clinton. Uh, as we head into an election year, in a red wave election year, it's going to be even worse for Hillary Clinton. Although I don't see Hillary Clinton in any time in history in 2024 being a good candidate for the Democrats. So at the moment, Democrats seem to have a very weak feel. Um, likely Clinton races, that would be Washington, that would be Illinois, um, Delaware, I'll give Hillary Clinton, I'm even hesitant to give her New Jersey and Connecticut, I'll, I'm going to wait, pull that off. Uh, if you remember, Mark Ciritelli almost won the New Jersey governor race in 2021, and I don't even think as much momentum going into that race is, is as going into these races in 2022, so uh, I'm hesitant uh, to give her that a likely margin. Ciritelli actually uh, lost by only three points to Phil Murphy which is very, very close to New Jersey. And Hillary Clinton only won Connecticut and New Jersey by around 12 points in 2016. And at the moment, you know, even the momentum is worse. But yeah, I'll, I'm going to hold that off. Likely Republican states. This would be Florida. This would also be North Carolina. I see North Carolina going by more than five points, probably about five and a half points for Trump. Florida, Texas, those are, in my mind, self -ex more self-explanatory. But yeah, 235 in the likely category for Trump. And now we'll head into Clinton lean states. This will be Connecticut. This will be New Jersey, Oregon, and that's about it. So 191 electoral votes for Hillary Clinton. Lean Trump states. This will be Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Uh, all of those will be lean Donald Trump states. So that gets him to 312 electoral votes. I'm also going to give him Nebraska second as a lean state. So let's head into the final tilt states for Hillary Clinton and for Donald Trump. I think Hillary Clinton still would be able to tilt Maine at large. That is a northeastern state. Um, and uh, she does have somewhat of a northeastern appeal, so I still think she'll be able to tilt that in her favor. Um, I think she would be able to tilt the state of Virginia in her favor, barely, by probably half a percent. But the remaining states, at the moment, against Hillary Clinton, I think Donald Trump will be able to tilt New Hampshire. Minnesota, remember, that came within one and a half points in 2016, and with the trends eight years later, that's even going to be much harder for her to win. And the state of New Mexico, I made a video yesterday talking about the trends in support for Hispanics um, in the Democrats, uh, uh, for Democrats. Joe Biden only has 26% approval rating among Democ or among Hispanics. That is terrible. That is one of the worst approval ratings for Hispanics of a Democrat president in, in history, in modern American history. Um, and uh, I think you'll definitely see that have an influence on Hillary Clinton. And you could see a red New Mexico, depending on the momentum going into the election year. I know it could die down after 2022, but maybe, maybe not. 
um, and and really the state of the country. But as I say, it judged the current prediction based off of the current state of the country. So here you have it, 332 to 206, Donald Trump completely destroys Hillary Clinton in this election prediction. I think she's probably one of the worst candidates. Honestly, Joe Biden is probably one of the best candidates at the moment for 2024, although he's not even really that good of a candidate. I would say it's Biden, just using the top four, I guess, or top few. You could say Biden, Buttigieg, Sanders, Harris, and then Clinton. I mean, I, I but none of them are that particularly good. But anyway, 332, 206, let me know in the comments what you think of this election prediction, what you would keep the same, what you would change. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video below, and stay tuned for more videos. Have a good day.